Everything comes to he who waits. And I have waited so very long for this moment. I can't tell you how many times I've used that line in real life situations. <laughs> yeah, the worst one was prom night. Oh, hello, my name is uh, Fu Manchu. Well, just like Skeletor said, sometimes if you wait long enough, you get what you want. And sometimes what you want is really elusive, so that when you finally get it, you feel like Skeletor and you go, <laughs> I got what I wanted. That's right. All of you out there in YouTube land happen to know, I'm sure by now, that I'm a huge fan of Damn Toys' Gangster's Kingdom line. Yeah, I am. But there's always those elusive figures in everything that you like, or the elusive things in the world that you really want, that you really have to try to get. And one of those for the Gangster's Kingdom line is an original Spade Jack, or Jack of Spades, or blah blah blah, Jason Statham, it, whatever, man. He's really hard to find, the original one. Um, now, I don't know why I read a lot of things about some of them were recalled because of the stupid hat staining the head thing but I, I don't know I don't know anything about it man all I know is I like it well we were sitting around here talking weren't we yeah and uh, we realized hey we got a time machine why don't we just zip back there and go get one I know right we never even thought of that before anyway so yeah we zipped back there we got an original Jason Statham spade of Jack of Spade whatever he's called and now I have him, so my collection is pretty much complete. That is awesome. So, today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the damn toys. And oh, look, there's Bane again going, oh, I see you used your time machine, Mr. Wayne. Yes, I did, Mr. Bane. Now you'll see too, it also says, we all go to hell. Yeah, we all know that. Gangster's Kingdom, comma. And there's a spade symbol with a Jason Statham, a Frankenstein head. You know who he really looks like to me? I'm, I'm sorry, but this picture especially, it looks like it's the goon. The comic book character, the goon. Now, if you don't know who the goon is, he looks a lot like this. Now, obviously, the goon was a comic made by Dark Horse Comics. And if you look here, it looks a lot like that Jason Statham picture, doesn't it? Especially when you look at him from a panel. Like that one right there. Hmm. Does that look familiar to you? Nah. Anyway, there you go. That's the front of the box, and this is the original box, and as you can see, it's all black. It's actually got, like, this weird, I don't know, it almost looks like scuffing, but it's not scuffing. It's, like, made into the box. It's weird. It's kind of this, I don't know, it's not solid black. It's more of an off black. So it's kind of weird looking. But anyway, I just assumed it was all black when I saw reviews and stuff of it. But here's the side of the box, and there's the symbol on the back of his jacket, and then there's the Diamond Toys logo down there, so let's look at the back of the box, shall we? So here's the back of the box, and you can actually make out this picture a lot better than on the, the uh, limited edition China exclusive, uh, convention exclusive, whatever version that came out later of the Jack of Spades, because this one's all white on black. The other one is basically black, but it's uh, silver, and it, you have to get it in the light just right to see it this clear, but there you go, looking like a scene from the Leon the Professional, where he's sneaking up behind him, and obviously he's going to kill him, or say, hey, do you want me to cut that cigarette in half and share it with you? It's kind of small there, I don't know, maybe he can't do that, but anyway, there's a gun there, and uh, what do we got here? We got the uh, serial number, the GK001, and all the address to say, hey, he stained, the hat stained my head, I want to return it, and they say, fine, you can't have it back. But anyway, there's the back of the box, now let's look at the front of the box one more time. So here's the front of the box for the very last time. Well, I'm going to keep it. I mean, I'm, it's just I'm not going to show it to you again. But anyway, there's the box there looking very cool. So I say we stop wasting time and I say we open it! Now, like all the other releases, I don't know how well you'd make this out, but the box is held together or closed by magnets. And this is the flap. Right there is one of the magnets. If you look real closely, you can see like a little circular dent. There's a magnet under there. Now, that's just a little flap, and you have to be really careful with this one because this one doesn't have a lot of give right there at the edge and can rip really easy from what I've seen in reviews. But anyway, here's the inside of the box. It's just all red, and it's got the pain symbol in the background there going, I'm really big, Mr. Wayne. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, there's the back there, and uh, you can see the spade symbol. There's the symbol on the back of his coat, and that is a very cool symbol, by the way. Then it's got his little bio there, and it talks all about him. And one of the things that... Uh, I realized is, you know, his name is Auger. Okay, obviously. But if you think about it, 
He's the Jack of Spades. But most people say Jack of Spades, and his name is Auger. So I think that's just funny. Jack Auger of Spades. Anyway, I don't know. But no, it's just it starts with a no, and I figured that maybe that's what they were thinking. I don't know. It's kind of an odd name, Auger. But anyway, on this side of the box over here, you will see the same picture from the back of the box, but all in red this time. There's his playing card, looking very cool indeed. And then down here, it's got the blurb again. And then, when you remove this flap right here, when you remove it, you will see... Oh, be careful there. Let's see, it's moving. This box just doesn't want to do that. You will see the Jack of Spades, and he looks Awesome, he looks all dirty. Wait, this is used. Hey, get our money back. But you know what? No, this is the way he was made. And he looks awesome looking. Holy cow, man. This is awesome. So let's pull him out of his, uh, well, let's pull the carbonite out and see what's behind this right here. Now, sliding him out of the box, but leaving him in his carbonite, you will see behind him a really awesome looking bag. Now that is awesome looking. I love bags like that, and it just looks so good. And then right there above that, that little strip, there's a necklace in there. You can barely make it out. See the silver necklace? And then he's got a little ankle holster. He's got his middle finger hand. Oh, how rude, Mr. Jack of Spades. And then there's the hat that causes all the trouble that stains everybody's head, so you have to be very careful with that. And then there's the switchblade knife looking very cool. There's his little ankle gun and the silencer. And then two clips. And then his big silver and black gun, which look amazing. I absolutely love it. I think this just looks so good. I can't believe that I have this in hand and I cannot wait to play with it. And what's funny is I've, you know, I've built a custom one. I've got the uh, re-release and it, it's not going to be anything different. But you know what? I'm happy to have it. So let's stand him up, shall we? Now, standing the Jack of Spades fresh out of the box, here he is looking amazing. Now, I haven't fixed his shirt. It needs to be tucked in and stuff like that. But here he is looking very cool indeed. Now, he doesn't come with a stand, so the Roblox stand is making an appearance yet again. But there he is looking very cool. And this figure looks amazing. And it's so silly because, you know, since I have the... The re-release and, you know, the custom one and stuff like that, that I don't really need this, but it was a Holy Grail figure for me, and I really, really wanted it. And now I feel like I have the whole collection, and this just looks amazing. I mean, he looks so good. I mean, there's... There's nothing that I don't like about this figure. He just looks so neat. I even like the little dirty spots on his pants. It just looks so cool. What a neat figure. Look at that. That just looks awesome! Now, I'm not going to totally strip him, but since his shirt isn't tucked in, I wanted to show you something. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this, but the new damn toys figures, their bodies are just cast in plastic, right? The, the uh, bodies aren't really shaded or anything. But the original Spade J, now I don't know how well you can make this out, but his, he's actually got painting on his chest. You can see he's got like shadows and stuff, like airbrushing almost. I don't know how to say it. You can barely make out his tattoos and scars and bullet holes there, but the fact that his body is painted, and it's just his torso, it, nothing else. His arms aren't, his legs aren't, nothing like that. It's just the torso, and I really love that the original one has that. I don't know why it just looks so much better. Now, a lot of people say it doesn't match the skin tone on his head, so you can't, you know, display him like that. Well, I agree, but just that added paint makes it look so much better. I don't know. It just looks so cool. It's a little kinky looking, but it's cool looking. Now that we've got the Jack of Spades to pull his shirt back down, you weirdo, uh, let's look at his uh, jacket and everything up close. Check this out. It looks amazing. It's absolutely cool. What's cool, too, is look at his pants. You can see where, if we can get to them, where's the staining and stuff. You can see, like, the lighter spots, the dirty spots. That just looks so cool. I absolutely love it. And you wouldn't think, like, dirty spots on pants would, you know, make you like the figure more, but it actually does. It just looks so cool. There's his boots looking very neat indeed. And then if we go up here, where's his hand here? There's his hand looking very cool. Go up the jacket and then over here, there you can see the zipper on his uh, breast pocket there looking very cool. He's got another one. Where is it? Right down here. I like the little pull tab things. And then let's go up to his face, right up here. He's kind of got a little bit of a turtleneck. The, the collar's a lot thicker than normal t-shirts look. 
And then, I don't know how well you'll be able to make out all these details, because it's always hard to get them in the light, but here's his face. Let's see here. Yep, let me try again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, like I said, this is really hard because, you know, it's right near the light, and you can't really make out all the details when the light's in the way. You can see all the little freckling and the little dots on his face looking very cool indeed. You can see his eyebrows are almost non-existent. And then up here he's got shading now. It's a little washed out here on the screen, but he actually has some really dark shading along the brow line. Oh, see, it's really hard to get it in the light. Right up there. You can almost make it out there now that it's fuzzy. But you can see he's got like some darker shading there around his brow, which looks very cool indeed. Now let's see if we can get his eyes in the light. Now, this is always a pain in the butt, because it's always really hard to get in there with their eyes, but check it out. Let's see if we can get in there. It's really hard to do. Okay, let's see. No, this light is not going to work with me today. Okay, let me try again. I feel like writing a letter. Dear damn toys, why do you make the eyes so hard to see in these figures? But, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know how well you can see that, but there you go. Looking very cool indeed. Check that out. Now, I can't tell here on the screen what color those eyes are. This is really hard. Can anybody tell me what color? What color are those? I'll be able to see it in the video, but I won't be able to see it right now. I, I would assume they're brown. I don't know. I can't tell. I know the re-release's eyes were brown. You got me. So let's move on to his back. And you can see the, the picture here. There's the skull on his back, and that's how it looks up close. That is awesome. And you can see the texture of his jacket. Look, there's a J there. That's so cool. Go down here to his little buckles. Very, very neat. And all these little details are just so awesome. Go up here to his head. You can see his hairline. Whoops, maybe. I don't know how well you can see that. His ear. Looking very cool indeed. Check him out. Love it! So without primping and without pulling out all his accessories, before I fix them all up, here's the Spade J for the very last time looking awesome. And if we pan back, you will see his other friends that I have here. Now, this is the custom one that I was putting together, and I, I don't know how many original pieces there are. I think that, well, the head is from the second, the Hitman version of uh, Spade J, and then the jacket is an original jacket just like this one. I mean, it's the exact same jacket. But everything else here on this one is like pieces used from other ones and like the pants. I don't know where those came from. And the t-shirts, another damn toy shirt and stuff like that. But it's the same sort of thing. It looks very close. But now I have an original. And then over here, this is the re-release. The China exclusive expo thingamabobber that was limited to like 300 or something. So he's limited edition, which is really cool. But you can see that they changed his outfit quite a bit. I mean, it's basically the same sort of outfit. But a little different. I think the only thing that's exactly the same are the boots. It's just they're painted different. But there he is looking very cool indeed. Now, instead of uh, using the stainy hat and trying to like line the hat with something to put on his head, I'm going to just use this hat. So I'll take that hat over there and just put it on the new figure. That way, that way I can rest assured that it will not be staining the head and stuff like that. So that looks awesome. And, you know, I'm, I may end up getting rid of this one over here later or this one over here because I don't really need it. I may keep that one's head, but that's about it. But I think this one is awesome, and I cannot believe I have it in my collection now. So, yeah, who knew that time machines were actually good for something, right? Anyway, here's my new uh, Jack of Spades. I always want to say Jason Statham. My Jack of Spades uh, original version, blah, 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 for my damn toys, and he looks amazing. And this was a holy grail piece for me, and I'm so happy to have it. it makes me very, very happy. I, it, I know it looks redundant to have this one, and I shouldn't have three, basically the same figure, but essentially they're not. And this is the one I wanted all along, and now that I have him, I can decide if I want these on the sides. So... I think he's awesome. I'm very happy with him. I can't wait to, you know, tuck his shirt in and give him his bag and stuff like that and start putting the accessories on him. Because, I mean, this figure is awesome. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, hey, try using your time machine if you can't find anything you're looking for. I mean, it's out there. You just gotta go use your time machine to get it. So, see you next time. Foo Reviews! <laughs> Come on, Bellsbuck. Come on. Yeah, who knew, man? I thought we could just use it to go get ice cream and stuff. Holy cow, man.